So why is koinonia important? Why is koinonia important? When we are in close, rela close relationship with believers, other believers, we have people to pray for us. Amen. When we are in close relationship with believers, we have people to support us. When we are in close relationship with each other, we have people to encourage us, to exhort us, and to serve alongside us. Now, for some people, that's going to look different to each other because where you might have a very strong family network, you're going to draw a lot of your strength from that network. But for some people, they live on their own. So you, so so some of what, what you, what some of what you create within your own environment, if it's strong in your environment, God is saying you ought to bring some of that into the house of God and share it with those that need it. Wow. You see what I'm saying? You've got to share share some of that goodness with other people that might need it, because I might be. My situation might be wealthy in one area, but dry in another area. But what happens is where I'm dry in that area, you might be wealthy in that area. So then what happens is by you, 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 you fellowshipping with me, by encouraging me, by praying into my life, by speaking into my life, what you're doing, you're nourishing an area in me that might be dry that might not be fruitful. Does that make sense? And so then what happens is that's how fellowship takes place, is that we're all fellowshipping and feeding one another. 